Hi, my name is Johan and in this video I will show you how to create and deploy a provisioning package using the new Windows Imaging and Configuration Designer tool, or Windows ICD for short. I'm not sure Microsoft really thought about how this tool would be pronounced, because if you cram them all together, the acronym becomes WICD. Wicked. Quite funny, I think. Anyway. The tool is part of the Windows 10 ADK, which was released as a technical preview a few days ago. Once installed, you are ready to go to create provisioning package, a new concept for Windows 10 deployments. A provisioning package is simply a way to apply configurations to either a Windows image or a running Windows machine. In this demo, I will show you how to change a Windows edition, but there are quite many things you can do with a provisioning package. Things like adding applications, configure security settings, configure Wi-Fi, VPN, email profiles, certificates, and some other stuff. If you want to learn more, I recommend to review the Windows ADK documentation, currently available in a compiled help file, but I expect the docs to show up on TechNet as well. The tool also provides some basic imaging functions, but that's for another video. In this video, I'm focusing on the provisioning packages only. In the upcoming demo, I will show you four things. First, how to use the UI to create a provisioning package. Then, I will do the same thing but using the command line version of the UI. And, I will give you some tips and tricks on how you can customize the environment when using the command line version. And finally, I take the package and I deploy it to another machine. Over to my demo environment. This is a machine with Windows 10 build 9926, and I have installed Windows 10 ADK on this one. If I go to the start menu, type in ICD, I can select the tool. I'm going to start a new project, call it Change Edition, and I will store it in the default location. And click Next. Next again, Provisioning Package. When creating a new package, what you select here will affect what settings that are available to do on the following pages. But for now the default selection is fine. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a provisioning package that will change edition from Windows Professional to Windows Enterprise. If I go over here, I have another virtual machine. And if I open System Properties, you can see this is a Windows 10 Professional this is the one we're going to change to Enterprise. I go back to PC number 9, where I have ICD installed. I will expand Settings, I will expand Windows Licensing, and I will go to Upgrade Edition Product Key. This is where I will type in the Product Key for the Enterprise Edition. That key is stored on the Enterprise Media. If I open Explorer, go to my D drive, where I have the media, Sources, PID.txt, I will copy and paste the key. Paste it in and save it. Now I'm ready to build the package. Configure the owner, next, store it and build. Package is created. If I open Explorer, go to my documents, Windows Imaging, Change Edition, and this is my package. The cool thing about this file, it's ending on PPKG, but this is really just a WIM file. So I can use either ImageX or DISM to mount it, or in this case, I happen to have 7-zip installed. I can just right click and say, hey, 7-zip, open archive, and I can review the content of that WIM file. For example, here in common settings, number one, this is where you find the answer file with the settings I had. But this is just one way to create a package. I told you there is a command line version as well. If I close this one and open up an Imaging Deployment Tools command prompt and type in ICD question mark, I will get absolutely nothing. The reason is the exe file is not in the path, even though I did open the Imaging Deployment Tools command prompt. If I open Explorer, go to my C drive, Program Files, Windows Kits, 10, Assessment and Deployment. This is where the Configuration Designer is, and in the 32-bit folder, you have the ICD.exe file. If I go to that folder, copy the address, 
and navigate to it. I can launch the same command again. Now I find it. But I don't want to have to do this every time I launch the tool. So what you can do is that you can change the path variable for this command prompt to also include the folder where ICD is. If I go back a few levels and do a listing, go to deployment tools and look, there is a batch file. This is the batch file that normally sets the path to the other tools in the Windows 10 ADK. I can open that one and I can add my own path to it. I go down here, take a new line, set ICD root equals percent kits root percent and then I paste in the path here. Note that I didn't specify an extra backslash here and that's because the kits root variable already have one. Let me show you you can see it's ending with a trailing backslash here. That's why I don't have one in here. Then I simply append this, save the file, exit, open it again. This time with the path set I should be able to launch the command line tool as is. To create a new package using the command line version with the exact same settings as I had before, I need to have a few things first. If I go to my demo folder, I need to have a customization file. This is an XML file that holds the settings I want to have in my package. The same settings as I configured in the UI. I also need to have what is called a store file. And these files are the same that I selected in the UI when I selected the capabilities for my provisioning package. The default is this one right here. Other than that, I'm ready. I minimize this. ICD. Build provisioning package. Customization XML. Colon. And the path. Package path. Colon. A folder to store it. And a name. and the store file. And I'm done. I have a package in that location with the setting. I will copy it over to a server. Copy. Paste it. Go to my other machine. Again, this is still running. Windows 10 Professional. Go to the server and run the package. Allow it to install and now I just need to wait. What will happen is that after a short while the machine will automatically reboot without any questions it just reboots and it will apply the configuration. Here we go. Restarting adding features. Restarting one more time and I can log in. If I go to system as you can see this is now enterprise instead of professional and I also get the text in the right hand corner saying this is an enterprise machine. This was a demo about creating a package and deploy it. Finally, here are some links to additional resources. If you missed something or have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.